Hello, welcome to another installment of ZFlex software tutorials. Today we will focus on creating a pie chart in NetBeans um, and we'll be using the JFree chart. Um, so let's get started here. We select our NetBeans uh, IDE and then uh, we will pick up from a uh, previous tutorial uh, that we've uh, been working through um, so if you need any reference uh, you can go back to a couple of the other tutorials um, I have done so today we're going to focus on the pie chart here we have the bar chart that we did previously and this time we're going to do the pie chart um, not a lot different uh, there we just will use a different method um, so here if you have your button um, if you don't go to your panel your uh, palette and grab a button like so drag it into your frame um, here we have four um, and we'll just do the same thing here edit the text to say show pi chart and um, we'll move this over and we'll just do the same thing here Okay, so um, if we want to again add uh, the icon, there is a, another tutorial on that, uh, but quickly we'll add one here. We'll go to icon, um, we'll select uh, one from our images package that we've uh, previously created. And so here we'll do the pie chart icon. Okay, so now we want to get to the coding um, right click and then we want to add an event and we'll do an action perform so now what that does action perform is now give gives us a piece of code that NetBean creates here with the structure um, so to start coding for the actual pie chart again we need the jfree um, libraries and in our previous tutorial um, here for the bar chart we've imported those so here you can see those um, particular um, imports that we have done so let's go back to our code so remember you will need those if you don't have it you need to download those from jfree chart and again reference my other uh, tutorial so <clears throat> Here, the first thing we want to do is get our um, uh, data sets. In this case, we're going to use pi um, data sets. And again, remember that data sets is just our set of data that we want to plot out. And we're going to construct our new um, form with that. So we're going to just give it a name. I'm just going to call my pi data set. And we're going to create a new instance of that um, of the default pi uh, data set. And then we'll overload it a little bit. Okay. And here we got a warning. So what we need to do is import that for the pie chart we have for the bar. We need one for the pie. So we import that. And now that's okay. Um, and now we'll just for our pi data set that we just created here we want to um, set some values um, in this case of um, again this will be actually like the titles so we'll stick to our church theme here and do um, a Bible study and we give it the actual um, integer. We will need an integer value. Um, let's say mm, 10, something like that. And we want to close this out. Uh, and I think we want capital I. It makes a difference. And we're going to give another value. So, what these are, the values that we are setting. These are actually values of the slices of the pie. So as you know, as you go along, 
you can give that pie however many um, slices uh, that you want based on your data. In this case, we're going to do a couple of um, um, points or slices that represents uh, the different uh, services of the uh, church here. Uh, so we'll continue on, give like percentages basically, and we're going to get one more slice of the pie here. And again, if you were reading these in dynamically, you would just kind of read through your values taken from your database, uh, wherever that might be, and substitute in um, the values um, that need it. And we'll do a special offering. Okay, so this will be the last value that we put in. Um, want to end that. <clears throat> so now we have um, three values and a new it's for our pie chart. So these again are the slices of the pie of the chart as it would appear. Now we actually go to our J free um, chart and again we're using chart because we want to actually um, chart it out and then eventually have it in a panel and so we'll get to that later so I just call my pie chart and um, we're going to use the chart factory here dot uh, create uh, we're going to again we see the different um, ones here when we want the pie chart that's what we want to create so we'll select this guy and it'll fill in um, a lot of these requirements here so let's overlay this we're going to give this a, um, a title again church um, resources and then um, we're going to give it actual data set which is the pie and uh, net beans fill that in for us so the pie data set is this data set that we will graph out um, and here we generally just want to do true true and true um, and got to round that off and then just clear out the rest of these guys here so now we have um, our chart pie that we're going to um, plot out um, what we have here. We're going to use the 3D uh, pi and the pi um, plot um, 3D in this case we're going to use that chart there Okay, and because we have not imported this, I believe we need to do that. So we need to import that plot for 3D. So we've done that. Now we move along. Um, now this is the part where we actually create a panel, and we're using a JFree chart panel for that instead of a frame. Uh, we'll talk about frame later if we wanted to do that. And so now we give this a name, a panel uh, name, and we're going to do a new chart panel. And inside of that panel, we want to have this pie chart. All right. So we have we're using a panel, the chart panel from JFree, and we're just giving it an arbitrary name. And then we will put that particular pie chart that we just created with the slices into that panel. Now that we have that, um, we want to add that panel into our panel, which is on our um, design frame. So right now, let's jump back real quick, look at design. This panel in blue, we've used it in a previous tutorial. We'll use it again. The name is panel chart. 
So this particular panel is laid out already and we will use that to display the code, the graph here when we hit the button. So let's go back to source, go back to our coding and here we're going to do again if there's another um, component in that panel it will stay there and so what we want to do is remove that um, that component and here let's see panel content let's go back and double check it's called panel chart so we do a panel chart so we want to remove that and then we want to actually um, add the, in this case we're adding our um, pi panel And the uh, validate, of course, basically make sure the components are all there and kind of repaints your screen all at the same time. All right. Um, I think one more thing we're going to add here is don't necessarily have to, but we'll be using the border layout. Um, and we want to make that center. Okay. And I think that is about it. Um, Let's go ahead and compile it, save, compile, and then let's try to run it and see if this button gives us anything. Okay, we got an error on casting a plot chart um, uh, to the 3D version of pie chart. So here, I found in my code, I need to add a 3D here, and Therefore, I can use now my uh, 3D Pi version of this. So, save, compile, then hit the, once the compile is done, I'm going to hit the play button, run it. So, here we have our buttons, and this is the older button, no code behind that one. We have our bar chart previously, and the new chart is here. And again, that validation will erase this guy and paint the new guy. And there we go. So now we have a bar chart and a pie chart. And the pie chart shows the various slices of the pie. If you hold your cursor there, JFree, um, no coding that I had to do, will automatically put those values there in a percentage next to them. So um, we have a pie chart in 3D fashion and we have a button with an icon so that ends this tutorial please subscribe uh, to this channel and uh, come back for more information thank you